Hi, and let's learn some Chinese. I'm Stephanie, and welcome to my channel. Today is July Fourth, and the July Fourth is known as the Independence Day in America. So today's episode is dedicated to July Fourth, and let's learn some practical words. So next time, if you want to introduce this day to your Chinese friend, you've got it. Let's start with something simple. July Fourth, we call them 七月四日七月四日跟我读七月四日七月四日 So 七 is means seven, so seven months. 七月 That's it. So simple. If you know how to count it, and there you got it. So 四 of course is number four. So 七月四日 Very simple. So July Fourth, 七月四日 also known as 独立日独立 means independent, and then 日 here means day. So why don't we use 天 Well, it's sort of like a custom way to write it. Most importantly, 日 is often seen in the written way. So to mark it as a special day, as a special occasion, you use the word 日独立日 To help you remember this, it's the same thing in English. For example, you say I'm a very independent person. Then you can say 我很独立我很独立 So in Chinese, we say 我很独立 It's the same thing. It's an adjective in both English and Chinese to help you understand. As a national holiday, 独立日 has a special meaning for Americans. So on that day, they will often 挂国旗唱国歌 So they will hang out their national flags and also they will sing their national anthem. So 跟我说挂国旗挂国旗挂 means to hang 国旗 national flag 国旗国旗国歌国歌 national anthem. 国 means country, okay? 旗 flag, and 歌 means songs. So 国旗 national flag, 国歌 national anthem. 国旗国歌 Now a 独立日 would be so boring without fireworks. How to say fireworks? It's a huge thing in America, and who doesn't love fireworks? We call them 烟花 or 烟火 So whichever way is fine. So 烟花 Let's take a look at these characters. Yan means smoke. So when the firework set off, there are smoke. Easy. And then hua, oh, flower. So yan hua literally means smoke flower. That's pretty cool. Now yan hu means smoke fire. Well, that's what the characters means. But anyway, both yan hua and yan hu means fireworks. 跟我读烟花，烟花，烟火。烟火 so you can say 放烟花 which means set off. 放烟花，放烟花，放烟火，放烟火 There you go. Now you've got your first sentence. You can say July Fourth is or Independence Day. July Fourth is 七月四日 Independence Day is 独立日七月四日是我们的独立日 That is, if you are American. So you can say 七月四日是我们的独立日 You can introduce this to your Chinese friends. Now on July fourth, you set up fireworks. 在七月四日 or 在独立日我们 again if you are American 我们放 set off 烟火 or 烟花 There you go. 七月四日是我们的独立日在独立日我们放烟花 or 在独立日我们放烟火 Again, it would be so boring without the parade, the floats. Oh, I love them. So, how to say floats? Again, something with hua flower. So we call them hua chu. Now you can imagine all those floats, often decorated with flowers. So that's not too hard to remember, isn't it? So we call them hua chu, hua chu. And often we like to add like tour next to it. So it's like float tour. So we say. 花车巡游，花车巡游。Now, if you are talking about parade, I mentioned about this word in my previous episode. It is 游行 So you can also say, you know, 花车游行 Both are fine. If you just say 游行 normally it's referring to like a group of people. So you're doing the parade. 跟我读花车，花车。Now, 车 here very simple. It just means vehicle. Of course, you've got to have a car. You know. They are not really floating there. 花车，花车巡游，花车巡游 ，or 花车游行 There are some shows and performances. How to say shows and performances? They are the same word in Chinese. We call them 表演 So whether it's a show or performance, we just call it 表演，表演，表演 Okay, let's recap. 
Now you can introduce the July Fourth to your Chinese friends. 美国的独立日是七月四日。在独立日，我们挂国旗，唱国歌。我们会放烟火。我们有花车游行。All right, this has come to an end for this mini episode dedicated to the July Fourth. If you are American, I wish you a very happy day. And for the viewers from other country, I hope you have learned several useful words and phrases that you can talk about your own festival next time. I'll see you next episode. Bye bye.